Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the daily challenges for today, Thursday, March the 28th, 2024. Let's take a look at it and see what we got for today. All right, we got some good ones here. We have one more than we usually do, so we have eight today for some odd reason. Uh, now I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. I give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. Every day, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. The great comments, which is greatly appreciated. So we're going to take a look at this one here first, just trying to get it out of the way. Kill a legendary enemy one. So a legendary enemy can be a one star, two star, three stars. And one of the best ways to do that is the event a called leader of the pack. And it will always spawn up here at Tyler County Fairgrounds. We have these three packs of wolves and each pack the leader will be a legendary. So let's pop up here to Aaron Hold Homestead because that's where one of the packs are. And we will take care of that leader and uh, we'll get credit for the legendary. Now these guys will just be one star, but that's all that we need. And there's our leader over there. And this is what I highly recommend instead of kind of going around trying to find a legendary because you'll never find them when you're looking for them. Uh, leader of the pack is probably one of the best ways. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh... There we go. Oh gosh, he got me really good there. There we go. So there we go. There's our legendary enemy right there. Again, uh, if you're on a public server like myself and there is uh, time uh, remaining, I always recommend leaving uh, the other legendary, the other packs for someone else. Is that way there they'll see it pop up. They're like, hey, there's a legendary enemy there I could take off from my daily challenge. And uh, that's what I just kind of highly recommend. You can do what you want, but that's what I recommend. Just kind of be courteous to other people, especially if you're on a uh, public server. All right. Yeah, so that's not too bad. That ended up being pretty good. So you can see leader of the pack, top right hand corner of the screen. Uh, there is, it is time sensitive. So it's usually about 20, 23 minutes long. So hopefully you'll be able to get one of your, and if you don't see leader of the pack spawn for you, uh, server hop. It took me about uh, three server hops to get it and uh, lucky enough we got it there but you guys have seen me server hop many times before and we were just very unlucky to a point where I had to re-roll it so <laughs> that's a uh, just an FYI there. All right let's see what's next here. I'm not going to bother picking up the legendary item from them because I am uh, maxed out on script which is uh, 6,000. Um, okay let's um, let's head back to my camp and because there's a couple of stuff here we can do at our camps. Let's go ahead and do that. Cause that's where I usually kind of start off at. It's lock and load here. These guys are on uh, the hunt here. All right, good stuff. We're back here at my camp. We're going to continue on with our daily weekly challenges. When I saw that pop up on the screen, I was like, "Okay, now's my <laughs> now's my chance to get it." Okay, let's take a look here. What is next? Collect purified water five. So you hear me talk about collecting purified water. We can find purified water laying around the wasteland, uh, but having purified water at your camp is really the best way. So I have these vintage water coolers. If you ever see these go on sale in someone's uh, vending machine, they're not going to be cheap, okay? Uh, but if you ever see them go on sale, uh, definitely they're worth it because they do collect purif uh, two purified water while you pl passively play the game and they're nice and small, they're quiet, and you can put a whole whack of them in your camp. Now, to be honest with you, for the longest time, if you go to your build menu here, and you go down to the uh, water section uh, right down here. So this is um, this water purifier is one of the first ones you end up with at the very beginning of the game, like I'm talking about before uh, level 20 for most players. It does cost a lot to uh, craft. It does require eight power. 
it does produce two purified water but for the longest time guys i've had a couple of these in each one of my camps and this is what i had for the longest time before i had that vintage water cooler so if this is all you have this is all you have and it works okay so recommend having a couple of them in your camp so you can complete that daily quick and easy uh what's next here now let's do this one here use photo mode while in a team one now if you don't have Fallout first, you don't have uh, private servers, you could join a team uh, with other players, or you can be on a team by yourself. Or if you do have Fallout first, you can be on a private server like myself, and you can create your own team, and we're going to use photo mode, and that's what we're going to do here. All right, so what you do is you go to your map page, top right-hand corner, we go social. We're going to uh, create a team here. Actually, I'm on a... Sorry. I, I, I am on a public server. Um, so there we go. Uh, we're going to we have make our own team here. Okay. And now we are going to use uh, photo mode. Let's go to our map screen there. Let's go photo mode. Sorry. I, I'm just so used to playing in a, uh, a private uh, session. And uh, just go photo mode here. Let's go ahead and take a snapshot. Done. Use photo mode while in the team, and as you can see, we're the only one in the team. And look at it, we get some more atoms out of it. Nice, perfect. So there you go. Oh, look at that, rank 14, baby, another 25 tickets. Love it, love it. Keep that coming. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, we're going to actually... Uh, no, we'll stay. We'll stay on this until we uh, maybe not be able to do something here. Um... Build a floor or wall sh uh, in a shelter, 10. So build a floor, wall, in a shelter. Basically, if you're a brand spanking new player, and if you don't have a shelter, you're thinking, hey, I don't want to spend the atom to get a shelter. If you can make your way up here to Vault 51, okay, the hardest part is making your way up here. Uh, basically, if you do a small quest, it takes you about five, seven minutes to do. It's very easy to do. There's no enemies. You'll end up with a free shelter of your very own. Okay, pretty cool. Um, if you completed Season 13 and made it all to Rank 100, you'll get yourself a free shelter there as well. And if you paid for Fallout first just once in your entire time of ha playing Fallout 76 and you claim the Vault Lobby Shelter, you'll always have that shelter even though you no longer have Fallout first. Okay, so FYI on that. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go in our shelter here. Let's uh, turn the lights on. There we go. Uh, so as the daily had said, build a floor or a wall in a shelter tent. Let's go ahead and go build. Here's our floor here. Let's go ahead. We're going to build some walls. And this is all I do. Let's go down here to something real simple here. We'll just do a half wall because it doesn't cost... It costs one less wood, I guess. And I just kind of stack them around. Now, some people like to kind of build their camp waiting for these dailies and weeklies to pop up. And you can do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You just build them anytime, and then you can just scrap them like I do, okay? And then uh, you'll get some some resources back. Not all of them, obviously, but uh, you'll get some of them back. All right, just like that. All right, let's head out here. The lights are on a uh, photo timer there, so they'll shut themselves off. What's next, Jim? What's next, old pal? Okay, what is next? What can we do here? Let's go ahead. Epic. So I did not re-roll anything. I just happened to get this epic. Now, if you're brand new to the game, anytime you get an epic daily, most times you get them from a re-roll, but epic dailies challenges will give you extra score, as you see there, okay? Uh, so scrap a board game too. So I have many videos out there showing you some great spots for uh, board games. 
Uh, they're older videos, so they'll be, they'll be a little rough on the audio, okay? So just be aware of that, but they're still valid today. Uh, where I'm going to take you today is actually a newer spot. Uh, we're going to go take you right down here to the Blue Ridge Bunkhouse. Let's pop over here because it's a neutral area. It's in the forest. It's fairly close to Vault 76. All right, I'm going to go inside here. We're going to make your way up these stairs. They don't get along with the crater. And uh, right here on this table, there's usually three board games. Let's go ahead. Okay, we got two board games there. And I highly recommend, um, especially if you're on public servers, only take what you need. Because that way there, someone else on the server can come by and pick up that other board game. Okay, just be kind of courteous to other people. That's what I always recommend. So here's our Tinker's workbench. You can go to any workbench at all. And we're going to scrap them. Keep the line moving. Just like that, guys. Scrap a board game, two for two, done. Just like that, guys. Let's go over this way here. Those guys are a little noisy. Okay, what's next here? Uh, kill a Deathclaw 1. So while we're over here in the forest, uh, I have a couple of great videos showing you some great locations for Deathclaws. Of course, Deathclaw Island usually has one. Uh, one of the best spots for reliable death claws is down here, the abandoned waste dump. But it's a little higher level area. In that cavern, you'll find at least two every time. Sometimes you'll find three. Very rare, though. Uh, but while we're here, while we're in the forest, we might as well just head up here to the uh, death claw island. Let's see what's over here. Hopefully, there'll be one. We're on a. We have our, our chances are a little slimmer just because of how we are on a um, a public uh, server. And that's why I, when I make the videos, I always try to stick to the uh, private ones because I know for the videos, uh, I don't know what I'm going to get. Uh, so let's go over here. Let's get our sneak on. And the death claw hopefully will pop up out of the ground here. And somebody may have already have been here. I think somebody already has been here. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> usually there's a death claw here. And look at that. There's a. Uh, Deathclaw egg, which I showed up real quick there. There we go. Deathclaw egg right there. Uh, so if you are limited to the forest, you can server hop this area. Server hop until you get to a server, until you find it. Look at that. There's a magazine right there. Nice. Okay, so let's go to the abandoned waste dump. And this is one of the reasons why I stick to the uh, private servers here. But we'll go over here and see what we can find. All right, let's go here. Oh, geez, Jimmy missed that jump there. All right, let's go inside the uh, cavern. And there should be two, at least two of them here. And very rare, there's a third one. You guys have seen that in older videos of mine. It is a possibility, not all the time, but it is possible. Uh, so let's go in here. And hopefully, oh, here's right there. <coughs> Uh oh, he's going to cripple me here. Yep. I got the wrong weapon for this fight. I got the wrong weapon, Jim. Get up my little hidey hole here. Take a little breather. Yeah, wrong weapon for sure for this death claw, this circuit breaker. <laughs> Good for most. There we go. Kill a death claw one for one. Done. Good stuff. Uh, That's why I recommend this little hidey hole here. And uh, if you make your way, uh, so this is the entrance here. Okay, you just make your way up here. Look at that, rank fifteen already. Uh, you just kind of take this right in this little hidey hole here, and uh, he has a hard time getting up here. Uh, so just an FYI. And usually uh, the second one is in here. Now, we're not going to go all the way in, but you can see it down there. See him? And he's usually sleeping, but we'll leave him be. Uh, but always be on the lookout for the uh, the third one, because you just never know, and they'll take you by surprise. <laughs> just say it. What's next? Uh, we're not going to go. We're not going to bother with that other one. So we'll save it for someone else uh, that's on the server. Okay. What's next here, Jim? Uh, let's go ahead. Cripple a Protectron on Robo Brain's arms too. Okay. 
Uh, so Robo Brains, uh, we can find them in the videos of mine. Sometimes you can find down down here at the Beckley mine exhibit. Not all the time, but you'll usually there'll be two that'll spawn there. Uh, but we will find Protectrons down here also. Uh, but a real good spot for Protectrons that are fairly easy is right up here in good old Clarksburg, right up here by my camp. And that's where we're going to go here today. So we're just going to fast travel to my camp, uh, camp to save some caps. Not that I really need it, but... <laughs> Alright, so we got Clarksburg here. Uh, the lower section will be full of ghouls, okay? Uh, the upper section will have uh, Protectrons. They'll have the iBots. they have the Mr. Handies, okay? And we're going to cripple. Now, we have been having some good luck crippling using the Circuit Breaker. So we're going to try to do that. So, again... Cripple or Protectron or Robo Brain's arm too. So you can free aim for the arm if you like. Okay, you can free aim for the arm. Or you can use VATS. I prefer to use VATS just because how they move around. And if you use VATS, there's a perk card under Perception called Concentrated Fire. They allow you to move your VATS around from head, torso, arms, and legs. Okay, highly recommend that bad boy. Uh, so let's go over here. And um, we'll go after some Protectrons here. It's usually just kind of one kind of hanging out here. There's one guy up there. Let's go for the arms. Right arm, right arm, right arm. There we go. Left arm, left arm, left arm, left arm. There we go. If you do it right, okay, if you do it right, all you need, all you need is one, one Protectron, because left arm, right arm kind of deal. And uh, I've got the little teacup here. Stuffed grizzly. That's pretty cool. Eh? Did you guys know this was up here? I didn't. Um, <laughs> what's next, Jim? What's next? Oh, pal, collect caps 100. So you'll come across older videos of mine where I highly recommend using the scoreboard to our advantage to collect caps. Uh, but now, because we are in season 16 season pass system we don't have many options for caps as we once did before uh so the closest section we get caps is all the way over here in page five and it's five thousand caps because before we would get you know 100 250 500 stuff like that along the way but they grouped everything together now okay so we can still use this scoreboard uh up to this rank here but i don't know at this point who will be up at that rank um you know, a third day in, but uh, of the season. But uh, what I recommend doing now for caps, okay, you can go after rad toads. Rad toads are a good spot for caps. Um, Grafton's a good spot for some rad toads, okay. Uh, but what uh, the main places that I recommend doing is you go to Morgantown Airport. Now, Morgantown Airport, the runway will be full of scorched, and they'll have weapons on them. You take the weapons. You bring it over here to the station. Don't worry about your carry weight. Don't worry about being overweight, okay? And then you can sell them right to that vendor bot, okay? Uh, the other day when we did this daily challenge, we were down here in Welsh. We went down here to the mole miners. We got all the shotguns, missile launchers and such. And then we walked right up here to Welsh Station and sold it all to the uh, NPC vendor that was up there. And you don't have to worry about your carry weight. You don't have to worry about fast traveling because of the, this, you know, the station's right there. So we did Welsh just the other day. So let's go ahead and we'll do Morgantown Airport today. So let's go ahead and fast travel here. Search complete. No hostiles detected. Standing down. Holy jeez, game. Okay, so we did Welsh the other day, and of course, when you spawn here, there's the train station. And there's all kinds of Scorched around, so we're going to kill these Scorched, okay? And then we're going to take the weapons. We might come across some weapons that are just kind of laying around as well.
Nice, a pipe rifle. 44 pistol. What's this guy got on him? Combat shotgun, beautiful. Stuck against something. And I gotta bother that wrench. Usually there's a weapon in here. Go ahead and grab that. Grab this 10 millimeter pistol. So we are overweight, but I'm not gonna worry about it because we, we're just gonna walk. I wouldn't even bother wasting a carry weight booster on it. For some reason, this guy, the Vats isn't. Oh, there we go. Vats wasn't picking it up for some reason. Oh, boys. Hey, what are you doing there? Where was that at? There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, pick the knuckles up, sure. I thought there was a guy over here, though. Yeah, this guy's standing there. Short pipe rifle. Keep going here. And I can't run because I'm overweight, Jim. Remember? 10 millimeter pistol. Another 10 millimeter pistol. Love it. Love it. I don't think there's a whole lot in here. Uh, for weapons and armor and such. Alright, so let's head back this way. And just on the other side of the building, the front of the building will be some more score. So we'll get a few more items. I don't think we'll need them. Burp. How you doing there? I thought he was in here. Huh? Oh, right there. <laughs> Followed each other around the tent. Can you imagine? Alright. Alright, pipe uh, revolver. Check this pile here. 10 millimeter pistol. Some purified water there. Again, good spot for some stim pack here. Sure, Jim. Sure. This is a good spot for some cabs. Another stim pack, blood pack. Pack of smokes. Now, I do want to make a mention, um, I'm a little late in the video because uh, Fash that day had failed on us and the robots wouldn't move and the runs from the robots moved, the, uh, the slot at the end didn't show up. FYI. All right, let's go here. So one thing you can use, a perk card that'll help you out here. Thunder Charisma. And it's called the Hard Bargain Park. Now this one here is a three star. Buying selling prices to non-player vendors are now much better. So we can apply this on. Great Mentats under Aid. Will also help you out with that as well. Let's go ahead and go trade. Let's go weapons. Let's go ahead. We will sell the weapons that we just picked up. From those uh, Scorched. A lot of them are the pipe weapons, so we might fall short. Ammunition and other oh, perfect. There we go. Click caps to 100 for 100. Done. 
And you can even sell some aid if you so wish. Uh, now, the main thing to remember when you're doing this, so you see um, how on the caps on the left-hand side, you see how I have 39,518 there on the left side? Uh, the max caps is 40,000. And the daily asked us to collect 100 caps. So if I had 39,999 caps, I would not be able to complete this daily. I would have to either buy something in order to make room for that 100 caps in order for this daily, in order to get 100 caps in my purse and get credit for the daily. Okay, that's very important, but not very many people are, you know, maxed out all the time, but I, I like to kind of mention it because it is a real thing. And I think we're done, guys. I think we're done. We are just like that. So again, um, I'm a little later with the video because uh, we have Fashnet and there's Fashnet down here. And uh, so I had to botch that uh, video that I made probably about an hour ago because it was about 30 minutes in and Fashnet had uh, failed on us because the robots wouldn't move. <laughs> and once we get the robots moving, we the uh, legendary sloth wouldn't spawn at the end. So FYI, if you guys want to see Fashnet in play, I have a bunch of videos showing you how to complete Fashnet, like if, for those of you who've never did Fashnet before. Uh, so FYI on that. So uh, let's go ahead. We will join the event and see if it'll work this time. Now, I was surprised when I saw it in that video <laughs> that I had to botch because I wasn't expecting it. I think I heard something about it, but uh, I wasn't sure. I was not sure if it was uh, going to happen or not. So what's going on here? So we joined the event. Okay, there we go. All right. Holy mackerel game. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. A little slower. So we'll go through the paces here. And we'll try it again. And uh, we'll see if it works. Donate some wood uh, for wood scraps. Okay, wherever. Uh, let's get some more wood here. What they good about the forest? There'll be all kinds of wood around. Uh, woodchuck. Under lock is a good way to get some wood as well. And if he, if he give you the twice the twice the amount of wood, this person's extremely upset. <laughs> Donate some beeswax. Let's go get some beeswax, guys. I think a lot of people may have been soured from that very first, you know, <laughs> and it didn't work. I'm thinking it maybe uh, did that to a few people. Let's get our beeswax here. Oh, someone already did it. Okay, never mind. Donate eggs. Okay, so it's going by very quick. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're doing the fashion net. If you haven't done it before, make sure you get here because if you don't, it'll go extremely quick. There we go. We finished that off. Um, we have one more. Oh, we got this guy over here. No one's even over here. Wow, that's surprising. All right, let's play some music here, Jimmy Old Pal. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so I'm not too sure if Fashnet's just going to be here for the weekend. I'm thinking that's all it is, but uh, I can't tell you 100%. I'm hoping it works better than it did an hour ago. But 
But luckily this time here we got our dailies done. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. This is bad. I think it's going to work better this time because an hour ago it wasn't working very good. Okay. Yep, follow the steps. Show up to the parade and do your part. We're already here, but you have to do your part, buds. Got it? <laughs> oh, my soul. Unbelievable. Well, that's good. The big showing for these guys here. That's awesome. Good showing. It was a good showing for uh, for an hour ago. Everyone had the old, uh, you know, the old question mark going. But, um, yeah, a lot of disappointed people. Yeah, I had to botch that video because it was like 25 minutes, half an hour of like just waiting. <laughs> Parade, march, yeah. Location, verified, mask, and I'll tell you something. I've been playing this game for a long time. And usually Fastnet only comes around once a year. And this is the first time I can remember that, you know, because we had Fastnet just like two and a half, three weeks ago. And then we have Fashnet here again, possibly just for the weekend, but still. I can't remember this ever happening. So we're all <laughs> We're all here. here. <laughs> I don't even have uh Drop that. Eat this honey up here. Let's get some uh, water into us here. Let's uh, open up a couple of these. And I opened up like five of them because I have so many. But, uh, you know, if people can benefit from it, then why not, right? Whether <laughs> the event uh, passed or failed. There we go. Hopefully this will make everyone happy again. Alright, let's go ahead. Now those of you who didn't do Fastnet before, again, you can watch that video I made. Uh, just like, you know, last month. And uh, I kind of go through the paces. Now, some things have changed uh, between what I remembered and how I made that video and what actually happened there's only been a few changes but uh, you know nothing of nothing a great deal you guys can figure it out once when you play it but um as with everything with every update they always seem to change the odd aspect here and there all right there we go that's our little march now we're gonna get some red toads here i get up on the sign find this side is a pretty good spot. Scorched over there. Did we get him? Yeah, I think we did. Couple waves here of rad toads. And again, rad toads, good source of caps. And if you're looking for board games, um, as I mentioned, in that house right there, there's probably about three or four board games in that house alone on the second floor. So you can check that out if you so wish. I'm sure someone's has someone saw them and picked them up by now and scrapped them. But um, just an FYI, if you happen to remember that. And I made a video on that too. <laughs> Person's aggravated over there. And I don't blame them. 25 minutes of your life gone. <laughs> well, well. 
Okay, good. Let's uh, see what we got here. Pick these fusion cells up. <laughs> Not much for uh, for caps this time. That's weird. Let's check these guys over here. Nope, that's okay. That is okay. I think we got the odd one over here too. Oh, there's a cap. Red box, good stuff. So that's good that the robots are actually moving this time. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay, you guys can move at gunpoint here. <laughs> now I am on a different server uh, from that first time. So hopefully, hopefully we get her. Position ourselves here. Oh. Go out there, bud. Why is this guy walking? I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Okay. Okay, good. Good stuff. So these guys are... I'm thinking that person must be on the same server. Because <laughs> he's bad. Okay, so before... When I played an hour ago, these robots wouldn't leave this location. And then all of a sudden, like with like 10 minutes left, they finally started moving. And everyone's like, yeah. And then we get here. <laughs> it, uh, it was, uh, it did not work all that well. Um, so one thing I did, if you do note in that video that I made... Uh, just about a month ago for Fashion Hat Day. Um, if you notice, if you ever come here and you're a new player to the game, everyone kind of looks up here. This is where the Mega Sloth always spawned for the longest time. But the Fashion Hat we just had uh, two months ago, uh, it will spawn there and it'll spawn down there or spawn over here. So a couple of different spawn points, so just just be aware of that. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Let's get these wolves here. Wow. Yeah, a lot of angry. A lot of anger coming out there. It's a lot of anger. <laughs> I'm not going to bother picking that up. Because I, uh, I am, like, maxed out. All right, now let's head over here. We gotta light this baby up. You hear him doing his thing. So then we're going to... You'll see a pop-up. There we go. Oh, good stuff at work this time. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, we completed it. Nice, that's good. That is a good thing. Let's get up on a roof here. And away from everyone else. For a second. Let's see what we got. That's a lot of people. Ah, uh, okay, I already had that. Oh, I actually have a plan that I don't even know. Fashion at hanging snowflakes. Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Then that there, I'll probably just drop that for someone. 
But yeah, there we go, guys. We are done. Our daily challenges. Uh, we have Fashnet, I'm thinking, for the weekend. Don't quote me, though. Don't quote me. You can check out those the video I made about uh, two, three weeks ago on how to do Fashnet if you've never done one before, if, you, if you're brand new to the game. And uh, and all that jazz, so that's good. That's a good video right there. Everything will be timestamp, of course, so hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Knights of Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Starwood138. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.